This National Geographic article outlines some of the impacts of climate change on Arctic and glacial landscapes. It highlights long-term impacts that have been ongoing for decades, new and current impacts, and projections for how these landscapes will be further affected by climate change in years to come. The extent of Arctic sea ice has reduced by 10% since 1990, and this figure is quickly increasing with the aid of positive feedback loops. Ice breakup in spring in the Northern Hemisphere now occurs nine days earlier than it did 150 years ago, and autumn frees up 10 days later, both as a result of warming average temperatures all year round. Melting permafrost in parts of Alaska has caused subsidence of the ground up to 15 feet in places and solifluction, both causing damage to infrastructure. Researchers believe most central and eastern Himalayan glaciers could practically disappear by 2035, threatening the water supply of those reliant on glacial meltwater of the Himalayas. Just two weeks ago, Krakatoa volcano in Indonesia started erupting, emitting ash and vapour that travelled 1,600 feet into the air. No lava ejected from the vents and no damages or casualties have been reported. The small eruption has been captured in detail by NASA satellites and it also saw an infrared signal from below the plume, suggesting a lava flow is possible. This is the first significant activity from Krakatoa since its eruption in 2018, where 437 people were killed from the tsunami produced by the eruption. Krakatoa's biggest eruption was in 1883, where 36,000 people were killed. So, although this recent eruption was small and no danger to anyone, it is a reminder of the danger Krakatoa can pose, and Indonesian officials are on watch for potential hazards, including spurts and streams of lava and ash rain.